devastation of the fall armyworm was first reported in Kenya in March 2017. The western part of the country being amongst the first areas to be affected. Well, for five years now, farmers have counted losses upon losses. But now, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, says they have developed a technology that will suppress the infestation by innovating a disruptive mating technology known as the ferrogen dispenser. A reporter, Agutu Rosa, has more. Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, have partnered with 14 African countries as well as scientists in South Korea to find a solution for the infestation of armyworms. Dr. Moa Kassina, Principal Investigator for the Management of Fall Armyworms, led a demonstration for farmers and researchers in Kananie, Maboko, Machakos County, where three acres of land was used to plant maize. We have three, three acres of land uh, situated one kilometer each, one acre, uh, one kilometer difference whereby we have different uh, methods that we are using uh, in the first one we are using actually we are not applying any control measure we have allowed natural infestation of all ammo on our mains in the second site we have applied biological control and because infestations were very high we had to use uh, insecticides so we used also insecticides uh, and then the third site, we used biological control, we also used insecticides, but we also had started with mating disruption technology, whereby we are using some dispensers to release uh, chemicals that female uh, releases to attract males. The field development director of Perovivi, a US-based company, Samuel Mushemi, noted they have developed a technology that will suppress the infestation by innovating new mating disruptive technology known as ferrogen dispenser. This sachet releases some scents, like the perfume, which is similar to what a female does when it's calling for the males to come so we put many of them in the system or in the field and we saturate or we create a cloud inside the the farm that means that there will be so much of perfume that the male will not be able to find where is the female because we have mimicked or we have uh, tried to resemble to what the female produces Therefore, the male will just be loitering around the field trying to see where is this coming from, but they'll never get it. So in essence, it will die naturally, still looking for the meat. Mushemi says the technology also helps in reducing the amount of insecticide used by farmers. The mating disruption technique is active for 90 days in the farm. Then the farmer will collect the sachet and dispose them. However, they are working on biodegradable ones. Mushemi recommends farmers to use 20 sachets per hectare, that is 8 per acre, place 20 meters apart. For easy calculation, just make 20 large steps, then place the dispenser. He adds that the dispensers will be readily available in the market from next year, focusing on biodegradable ones. The cost will range between 2,000 to 3,000 shillings per hectare. Florence Ngao, a farmer in Kinanie, Mavoko Machakos County, says that she went from harvesting 30 bags per acre to two bags following the infestation of armyworms. Yo, dawa nye, mimi natumia, natumia nga ile profile. Profile nye, we 50 mils, natumia nga 350. Na yo, naingia 20 pump tano. Kwa hivyo pa heka, unaweza pika 20, 20 pumps. Kwa hivyo lasima ununue ngapi? Hine. Hiyo hine kwa 350, hiyo ni ngapi? 1400. Na hiyo ni round moja. Iki, iki, iki kaka, tena unayona tena. Ni kama ikufi. Siju inayafanyanga nini. Iki kaka, wiki mbili, una, unaanza kuona ile mafi tu. Hapo ndani. Ukipunua tena, unapata hiyo kamududu mbado. Kako. Sasa zingini, utatumia hii mchanga. Utajukua mchanga, sasa zingini, tunaweka ndani. The same fate befell another farmer, Cosmas Nzioka, who says that he decided to halt his farming due to the high maintenance cost. I met with Miss Ayu, Pesa Yuesika, Mfuko, Yakutafuta Inda. 
sasa nae mbalai like, kabandishu hata kufukulima ni kama mimi ni meacha juu ya nini lakini sasa hii imu imu mea inalibigwa sana kwanza ikiwa changa inaanzwa na spider mics na drips alapu yo ame wamsi sasa ndiyo ina fana yu maneno na mimi nime ni kama nime choka yu ya yu piga nda wa kila sa sasa atujui tufanya nini However, Mushemi says that they will focus on selling in parks to improve efficiency, discouraging sending them to agrovets, fearing a farmer might decide to buy one sachet that will not give the results. During the tour of the three acres, Dr. Muokasina encouraged farmers to embrace the new technology, explaining that if all the farmers buy the product, then the whole area will be covered by the scent and confuse the mail in large quantity. But if one farmer embraces it, then the next one does not. The results will be there, but not as effective. Agutu Rosa, KTN News. Well, the good news there for farmers. Well, let's take you now to Mata's economy and the elections. And the Nairobi Securities Exchange continues with its uh, losing streak in the second quarter of the year. With investments worth 500 billion shillings in paper money wiped out off counters.